Righteous on the beat. and welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and in today's video i'm going to be unboxing my brand new blow dryer i've been waiting on this blow dryer for like a month if you get on their website you have to wait like a month for them to ship out your blow dryer but it is on sale so instead of me getting a 400 dollars blow dryer for 400 dollars i got it i think about 2.99 maybe i don't know but i've been waiting to blow dry my hair to do anything to my hair so that I can do an unboxing and then do a demo or whatever. So again, I got, I think it's called Rev Air. I got the blow dryer and the little standing thing. I'm not gonna use scissors because it's basically already open at this point. So let's just hope I don't break another needle. Y'all, yeah, this blow dryer is big. Number one. <sighs> so I probably got it upside down. But I believe this is the, this is the base. Comes with a, a duster bag. had options for like colors because i would definitely got it in like a color like pink but this is what it looks like this is the plug i think the plug is short oh it's not short so yeah this is the base part thing and then this is the part that is for your hair oh they got little hair ties that's so cute oh, yeah i thought i broke it i don't know how to get this up the more But this is what this part looks like. This is where you put your hair at. And I don't know what this is. Oh, I guess I don't know. Anyway, but I'm gonna explain it to y'all like I know what bro. Y'all, y'all don't see plenty of videos for mine. This is heavy. And then like I said, I got the base. And this is like this is sturdy. And so this is gonna go into there like that. So basically, I'm about to just read the instructions, figure out what works best with these things, figure out where I'm gonna set it up at, and then come back when I'm ready to blow dry my hair and see what it do. All right, so I've done read up on the directions and stuff like that. Oh yeah, by the way, this set is from Blushmark. I have a try on haul on my channel, it'll be linked below. But um, so for in their instructions, they want you to set the speed starting at like a level two and then put the heat to a level one just to start and see what it does and it says to do it on it works best on clean damp hair with like no product my hair is none of that none of that um number one i don't trust blow drying my hair with nothing on it so that's that's dead already my hair just been in twist for a couple days so it's dry but i am going to get a water bottle and just moisten my hair a little bit just so that it can like you know i'm, I'm at least listening to one of their rules you feel me Okay, y'all, so I got water bottle, a brush, just to have a brush. So, we got to jump in and see. I want to see if it's going to be, like, loud, because I don't know. I want no super loud blow dryer. So, number one, this is what you can't really see. But you can't see. I'll try to zoom in. But, yeah, so this is what my hair is giving right now. So, like I said, all I'm about to do is just give it a teeny spritz of water. Like that, just to get it damp. And you can very much feel the product. Like, I wanted to make sure that my hair was moisturized these last couple days of having it twisted up. I didn't expect my blow dryer to come when it did. So, let's see what this. Oh, let me read directions one more time. <laughs> oh, I didn't even read this one. No, I do. Oh, I was about to say, y'all. I thought this thing said those with average hair density are likely to be able to complete their head in seven to 10 seconds. But they meant section. This might be too long. Like, look how much my hair shrinks up. This might be too little of a section, but we still gonna try it. Okay. So we got to feed it in there. Let's cut it out. I cut it out. Oh. Oh, it's So it is loud. I'll tell you one thing. I forgot what I oh yeah, it's hard to cut this on and off with nails. Also, I feel like I'm gonna cut the heel. So I'm gonna turn the heat. No, maybe not the heat up, but the, the machine. So 
I do think I'm going to do larger sections. Okay, y'all, so I basically got the back section done. It's just in bantu knot. So I'm getting like kind of towards the front, not really the front yet. But yeah. And just to let y'all know, my hair is very uneven. I think for the past maybe this should this year will be three. I've been like trimming my own hair and stuff like that. So I know when I finally get it professionally done, they're gonna just be like, what in the world? Like the front of my hair, the middle. But again, water bottle. And I'm wetting the hair a little bit more now just because I feel like that helps it. Cause you don't want your hair to be wet, but you want it to be like a little bit more than damp. And just to let y'all know, I feel like what works best for me, I have the device on four and then the wand on level two. Look how much my hair shrinks over y'all. I'm done. I just added to the section. My little bantu. And then I'm going to continue. I'll probably come back when I have my, my last section. All right, y'all. So I'm on my last section. And if you don't know, the front of my hair is very short. As you can see, it can't even really go to a ponytail. We don't honestly know why. Am I going to make this one section? Yeah. Okay. We don't know what from or why my, the front of my hair just breaks off. It could be my wings, but it don't matter because I'm going to still slap me on your wings. And I would like to say, I'm never blow drying my hair with anything else. Like, if I was to blow my hair out with my regular blow, dry, blow dryer, number one, it's not going to blow out this much. And then also, it will go like straight back. But I will say, listen to the instructions. Next time that I use this, I'm not going to put any product on it prior to using it. Just because, like, I'm pretty sure, like, if I was to not have any product on my hair, number one, it'd be faster. And number two, that's what's making my hair look so stiff, I believe. Because I do have, like, Jamaican black castor oil on my hair. A heavy oil. Look at that. Oh, yeah, Jamaican black castor oil. And we all know that's a very thick sealant oil. I think next time, either I'm going to do no product, like a light detangling spray, something that's not heavy. So this is the finished product. This is how I'm gonna wear my hair to my mommy house so that she can give me them slick backs. But yeah, overall, this is a 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it. Less work, less time. And then this is also a storage case. 
So you can take this. Ooh, I guess it's this one. And just wrap it around. I think it said twice. And then you just hang it up. Okay. So it goes like that. Put a this video. So again, highly recommend. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in getting you one if you have not, because I'm pretty much like late on the way, but not my fault. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in seeing natural hair videos, because you know I have not done my natural hair on my YouTube channel in like I don't know how long. So if you guys like to see, you know, my hair and new like styles with the new length that I have, I do need to get a trim. But Okay. And like I said, my the front of my hair is very much broke off. Like it's on the sides. I don't know what it is doing it, but yeah. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you all. Subscribe and become a center babe. Oh, uh, well, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. This is signing off. Peace. Also, comment down below how you think that I will look with with some straight babies. Cause I'm thinking about it. Don't know yet. But anyway, hopefully I'll see you guys in my next.